Now, shocking new research has revealed that only 10% of us have a bath every day. Panic not, the other 90% aren't just smelly. No, instead, they prefer to take a shower. So the question in today's Ding Dong is, are baths better than showers? And squaring up against each other, our identical twin sisters, Alana and Lisa McFarlane, arguing for the bath adherence is Lisa, who says a shower is simply no substitute, while sprinkling her argument for showers is Alana, who doesn't even own a bath. I feel a squeaky clean ding dong coming on. I shall ease past you there. You know, from over there, I couldn't see whether you were wearing anything in that bath. <laughs> it's sort of flesh coloured dress. I just began choice. to get a little bit excited. So <laughs> the. <ba> <laughs> oh no. Let the battle of the bathroom commence. I feel like I'm Mylene Class and I'm a celebrity here. It looks more like a scene out of American Psycho or something. Yeah, so all, all you need is... <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you prefer... Why don't you like... I mean, look, it's lovely. You know, it's you... just the main purpose of having a bath or a shower is to be clean. In there, she's stewing in her own filth. Look at her. <laughs> you know, but it's all about relaxation, isn't it? But life's stressful these days, particularly with you and mine, Alana. Thank you. So it's nice you. to just kick back. You know, all my ideas come to me in the bath, I feel. That's why you don't have any good ones, because you have showers. And it's rather right. difficult in this tiny cubicle to share a shower with somebody. I don't want to share a shower with anyone. It's my time for getting away from the world, I think. Well, but, <laughs> but, but you could share a bath, couldn't you? I mean, would you, would you do that? We used to share a bath when we were younger, actually. No, I don't mean yeah. when you... Clearly, I'm hiding to nothing here, man. Right, fine. So you... You would never ever go in a bath? No, um, no, I wouldn't never go to a bath, but I just don't have time for baths. Yeah. The thing for me is, if you're late for work, oh, wait, I've got 10 minutes to get to work, I'll just run a bath here, I'll look at it for 10 minutes, and then I'll get in it. No, no, I'm all hot and parched it is, in the shower, clean, faster, gone. So, Alana, you would never have a shower? Uh, there, there's, like, sometimes, but, like, rubber ducks, for example, can't get rubber ducks in the shower, can you? Surely yeah. that um, <laughs> argument is obsolete after the age of five. Speaking of being so. five, remember we used to put our goldfish in the bath for a holiday? You wouldn't have that, you couldn't no. put them in the shower, could you? Again, unhygienic, Alan. <laughs> but also, she's more economical, because there's far more water in a bath, isn't there? Yeah, tw well. um, 20 litres of water you save having a shower than having a bath. Depends yeah, how long you're in it, depends. No, I was going to say, Alan, she's... In the bath forever, that's where most of in our arguments... Mean, in, yeah, the in the shower, shower forever. Mm. Most in the shower forever. In the shower so forever. you stay in there for ages. But you see, in there, you're warm, so th that will warm your bones like a shower won't warm your bones. Right? Yeah. I mean, mm. you know... But then, after ten minutes, it goes cold anyway. Has anyone ever had that? When you get in the bath, ten minutes later, it's gone cold. You have a bit more hot in it. You just turn this on again. <laughs> yeah, but then it's got overflow. No, can't be bothered with that. I don't have the time for it. Think about hot tubs as well. They've been the highlights of people's honeymoons for centuries. Yeah, but what about when they you go like exist. a prune? That's not attractive. No, Your well, new husband looks like a prune. You can't read in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what about electronic devices? Now people read from. That's going you to be damaged in the bath. You would read an electronic device in the shower. No, in the bath. That's what I mean. Normally, I would read in the bath. But, uh, but now it's all in the electronic devices, you can't do that. Like to see having a glass of wine in the shower. Ah, like a spritzer. you see. <laughs> you can't do that, can you? Oh, dear. Can we just give us a shout? Those who like baths? Yes! Those who like showers? Yes! Oh, this is going to be you. interesting. Will they, by the end of the show, change your mind? You've got to do a bit more work on the bath. I know. So? Well, I think the clue's in the name, really, because shower rooms, you kind of get imagery of, like, dirty, grimy hotel shower rooms. The bath. There's a clue, there's a reason why it's called the bathroom. It's because the bath is a winner. It's a winner. OK, <laughs> good job there. You do not need a piece of paper to somehow give some kind of legislation to that commitment. But you isn't, isn't, isn't being married to somebody more than a piece of paper? And you don't mind people opening up a newspaper and seeing you topless, is no, it? No, I don't. I'm so proud of my body that I'm willing to show it off to people.